Welcome to Binary Bytes, your source for bite-sized tech knowledge. In today's video, we will cover the topics you in EDI Fact Standard, EDI Fact Message, Interchange Structure, you in EDI Fact Message Directories. So, let's get started. Starting with introduction to the UN EDI Fact Standard. The UN EDI Fact, that is, United Nations Electronic Data Interchange for Administration, Commerce and Transport, is a global standard for electronic data interchange developed by the United Nations. It is designed to facilitate electronic communication of business data between organizations and is widely used in international trade, transport, and logistics. The UN EDI FACT standard provides a set of rules for structuring and formatting electronic messages that can be exchanged between trading partners. It covers a wide range of business processes, including orders, invoices, shipping notices, and customs declarations. The UN EDI FACT standard is maintained by the United Nations Center for Trade Facilitation and Electronic Business. It is regularly updated to reflect changes in business practices and technology. Using the UN EDI FACT standard for electronic data interchange can offer several benefits, including faster processing times, increased accuracy, and reduced costs. It also helps to ensure compliance with international regulations and standards, which is important for companies operating in global markets. Now coming to EDIFACT messages. An EDI FACT message is a standardized electronic document that conforms to the EDI FACT standard for electronic data interchange. EDI FACT messages are used to exchange business data electronically between trading partners in various industries, including manufacturing, logistics, and finance. EDI FACT messages are structured in a specific way, with each message consisting of a series of data elements arranged in segments. The segments are grouped together to form a message, which can include various types of business data such as orders, invoices, shipping notices, and other transactional information. The structure and content of EDI fact messages are defined by the UN EDI fact standard, which provides guidelines for the syntax and structure of the message. This standardization allows for seamless electronic communication between trading partners regardless of their location or the specific technology used to transmit the message. Overall, EDI fact messages are a key component of electronic data interchange, providing a standardized format for the exchange of business data that helps to improve efficiency, accuracy, and speed in global trade and commerce. Now coming to EDI fact message interchange structure. Interchange structure is the arrangement or format of electronic data interchange messages that are exchanged between trading partners using the United Nations Electronic Data Interchange for Administration, Commerce, and Transport standard. In EDI, an interchange refers to a set of one or more EDI messages that are grouped together and transmitted between trading partners. The interchange structure specifies the format, syntax, and content of the data in the EDI messages, including the start and end of each message within the interchange. The interchange structure typically includes the following elements. Interchange header This segment contains information about the sender and receiver of the interchange, including their identification codes, date and time of transmission, and the version of the AD standard being used. Functional group header This segment groups together related messages within the interchange, such as purchase orders or invoices. Message header This segment contains information about the specific message being transmitted, such as the type of document, the sender and receiver identification codes, and the date and time of transmission. Message body This segment contains the actual data being transmitted such as purchase, order details, or shipment information. Message trailer This segment marks the end of the message and contains a control sum, which is used to ensure that the message was transmitted accurately and completely. Functional group trailer This segment marks the end of the functional group and contains a control sum for all the messages within the group. 
Interchange trailer This segment marks the end of the interchange and contains a control sum for all the messages within the interchange. Overall, the interchange structure ensures that AD messages are transmitted accurately and securely between trading partners, enabling efficient and streamlined business processes. Now let's see the topic UN EDI Fact Message Directories. UN EDI Fact Message Directories are comprehensive lists of all the standardized messages that are available under the UN EDI Fact Standard for Electronic Data Interchange. The directories provide a detailed description of each message, including the message structure, segment names, data elements, and codes used in the message. The UN EDI Fact Message Directories are typically organized by industry or sector, with each directory focusing on a specific type of transactional data. For example, there are directories for purchase orders, invoices, shipping notices, and other types of business documents. Each message in the directory is identified by a code that represents the message type. For example, the code for a purchase order message is orders, while the code for an invoice message is invoked. This code is used to identify the specific message being exchanged between trading partners. The UN EDI fact message directories also provide guidelines for using the messages, including syntax rules and other requirements for transmitting and receiving the messages. These guidelines help to ensure that the messages are transmitted accurately and efficiently between trading partners. Overall, the UN EDI fact message directories are an essential resource for companies and organizations involved in electronic data interchange, providing a standardized framework for exchanging business data that helps to improve efficiency, accuracy, and speed in global trade and commerce. That's all for today's e-commerce lecture. We hope you found it informative and insightful. If you enjoyed the video, please show your support by liking and sharing it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more bite-sized tech knowledge and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest uploads. We will be back soon with more exciting lectures on e-commerce and other tech topics. Till then, Keep learning and we will see you in the next one.